Let's derive the electric field due to an infinite straight wire using Gauss's law. Assume the wire has a uniform positive charge. Let lambda be the linear charge density, charge per meter. To apply Gauss's law, we choose a cylindrical Gaussian surface around the wire. Let the cylinder have radius r and length l. This surface has three parts, curved surface, top end, and bottom end. Electric field lines are radial, perpendicular to the wire. So only the curved surface contributes to the flux. Flux through curved surface is e times curved area, which is e times two pi or l. Flux through ends is zero because field and area vector are perpendicular. So total flux remains e times two pi or l. Total charge enclosed is lambda times l. According to Gauss's law, e times two pi or l equals lambda l by epsilon zero. Cancel l from both sides. We get e equals lambda by two pi epsilon zero. So electric field decreases with distance and depends on charge density.